G'day everybody, it's Neil here and welcome to The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. I've heard a lot about this game, I heard it's a little bit creepy, a little bit spooky. And, I mean, I'm not, I don't normally deal with those games, but this has had rave reviews, so I'm gonna check it out and see how we go. Hopefully, it's not too bad. I've got my brown pants, but hopefully they're unnecessary. Ethan Carter I didn't know, but he knew who I was. When the police won't help you, and the priests don't believe you, you call on Paul Prospero. You call on me. If you're a kid like Ethan, you're right. Plenty do. Ethan's letter started out just like any other fan mail. But soon there were mentions of things no little boy should know about. Great. There are places that exist that very few people can see. Ethan could have drawn a map. Oh. I hadn't entered Red Creek Valley yet, but already I could feel its darkness reaching out for me. This place Finding doesn't look Ethan really dark. Carter wasn't going to be as easy as knocking on his door. I was too late for that. To find Ethan, I had to figure out what this place was trying to hide from me. Alright, so this game is kind of supposed to be an, an open world story, I think, maybe? See what's going on here. Oh shit! Maybe I'm not gonna survive. I kind of see into this, into the past, into the future. I don't, I don't really know what the, what the, who Paul, Paul Prospero is, or why he's here. Any more spooky traps out here? I can hear something. There's gotta be a trap nearby, there's gotta be. There, oh, Jesus. What is this? What's going on? It's opening up a little bit more every time, okay. So there must be a few more out here. We can kinda of check out. Is that another? Oh, that's the old trap. So oh, he's gotta, gotta be. Gotta be one here too. Hello? Traps? Stone trap? A boulder trap? Wily coyotes? Oh shit me! Oh, I'm getting a bit of a picture here, okay, I gotta find the other one. Christ, I'm gonna get a heart attack by the end of this. Maybe that's the. Yeah, look, I saw you from the other side, mate. You weren't that bloody spooky. Oh, I'm missing the meat and potatoes of the whole story here. Right, what's going on? Let's follow this track. Possibly another trap. What is going on here? Looks pretty nice, though. Where? So we're around here? Well, that's the main track. Did I miss it? Oh! How about this pass? This rock kind of looks out of place, too. Hey, where the hell is this taking me now? Oh, man. We're gonna get jumped. Can't help but feel like they are, I am the roadrunner here. Wiley Coyote is hiding. Over there on the stones. Drop. Can we die here? No, we can't. Yeah, well that's... Small, small graces, I suppose. I think this story has... A... Series of smaller stories? Each of which are... Kinda like puzzles. And you piece together yourself the entire. Here we go. The entire. Oh Jesus! Fuck. The entire story. Wow. Okay. Has this one got any meat on it? What's the story here? Whoa. Where the hell are we? Are they. Are they bones? 
Holy shit, there's bones everywhere here. An old man came to the forest every day to drink sap from the trees. To get there, the old man had to step around many dangerous traps. The villagers believed this old man had hidden a jade amulet in the forest. But the old man wanted the villagers to believe this, because then they would search the forest for treasure and not drink his sap. One cool fall night, someone set fire to the forest and the fire spread to the village. The old man escaped the fire by covering himself in sap. When he returned to the village, he found all the villagers' bones. The old man sat down and cried. Then he found more sap to drink. Oh. I assume this is Ethan Carter. Oh, fantastic. I actually do that. Ethan, I told you. You can't be here. But, Gramp, I wrote something for you. That's real nice. Thank you. Just, just leave it. I'll read it later. Ethan Carter, you're very broken, my friend. What's this? One dead in house fire. Fire damaged a historic home in Red Creek Valley Wednesday morning, according to officials from the Bayfield County Fire Department. A family of six was asleep when the blaze broke out at the remote house, once owned by Albert Vandergriff at 46 Old Ogden Road in Red Creek Valley. Gail Carter, 58, was pronounced dead at the scene. Remaining family members were able to escape. Carter's husband, Edwin, 62, told investigators he may have fallen asleep with a lit cigarette in his hand. Firefighters were dispatched to the scene at 1.22 a.m. and remained at the scene until around 5 a.m. Wednesday. They returned to the property four hours later to extinguish hotspots which had rekindled. Assisting at the initial fire was the Ashland Township Volunteer Fire Department. Masonville Emergency Medical Services was on standby at the scene. Ironically, in at fire here. It seems like Ethan Carter has a very active imagination. Can't tell if this is related to the house fire or not. We need to figure out more, I suppose, to put it all together. Hopefully Ethan Carter is not a... Spooky psychic. And I am completely lost now. They they took me into an alternate reality there. Oh, here's the stick and the stone. Okay. It's part one. We learnt a lot already. Oh shit. Let's see what's going on with Ethan Carter. This bridge doesn't seem stable. <laughs> 